Bonjour à tous. A little practice today, quite short. We'll do it 10 to 15 minutes, no more. So that if you don't have much time during the day, you have this little time for yourself where you can really start to bring some energy into the body and then strengthen at the same time. Okay? So join me on the mat. I'll see you soon. Bye. So we'll start into a kneeling position. Just try to sit on your heels and then try to not let the heel roll out but rather bring them in so that the top of the feet are really on the ground. And then we'll just bring the arms by your side. Just start to breathe in and out through the nose as always controlling those inhales and exhales and then really building up the strength into the lower abdomen. To find the slip of the pelvic floor and the drawing in of the lower abdomen. Okay, controlling the length and depth of each breath, draw the chin back and then find this ujjayi breath at the back of the throat. Wonderful. So we'll start with some movement, opening the shoulders. So as you breathe in, palms facing up, extend the arms overhead, and then press the palms against each other, looking through the thumbs. In and exhale, relax down. Again, inhale. Look through the thumbs. Exhale, slow and low down. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. In, exhale, slow and low down. Wonderful. Just bring the hands to the floor and then coming into a figure cow, bringing shoulders over the hands and the hips over the knees. As you breathe in, drop the belly, the chest looking up. And as you breathe out, just rounding forward. Inhale, we'll do it two more times, looking up. Exhale, chin to chest, tuck the tailbone under. One last time, inhale, looking up. And exhale, round. Beautiful. Come back to an all four position. Try to keep the lower abdomen active, keep the head long, look down to the floor. Inhale, extend right arm, left leg. Into the supine. And then exhale, lower down. I'll come here, other side. Again, keep the lower abdomen active. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale. Two more times on each side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Again, inhale, keep the lower abdomen active, exhale. Again, inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, relax, and inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Just staying here, curl your toes under, and then as you breathe out, press your downward dog. So we adjust your feet. Feet just slightly pigeon toes, tucking the tailbone under as always. Really active and grounded through the hands again, the index fingers aiming forward. And then as you breathe in, lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. And exhale, lean forward. Come and touch your right tricep. Again, inhale. And Last time on this side, inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Then step the foot forward in between your hands, drop your back knee down, press the top of the foot down, inhale, extend the arms up, and look up, draw the chin back, and look up. See if you can open through the shoulders, but keep sinking the hips down here. Keep the lift in the pelvic bone, keep breathing. Wonderful. And then exhale, look down, press your hands to the floor and come onto the heel, pull the toes toward yourself and exhale, bow over. Keep your hips square. Beautiful. And then inhale, slowly come back forward. From here, we're going to rotate your foot out. And then we'll come 
onto the toes extended and then rolling into the side of your back foot. So you want to be active underneath the shoulder. So you push underneath the armpit and keep your legs strong and exhale, release the hips down. So you will feel a nice opening into the right hip and a long stretch into the side of the body. And then place your hand to arm, breathe here. Again, push underneath this left shoulder, but keep your bottom leg straight, the foot flexed. Beautiful. And then exhale, press back to down the dog. Readjust your hands and feet. Look to the navel. We'll repeat on the other side. Inhale, extend your left leg up. Exhale, lean forward, touch your left tricep. Again, inhale. Exhale. Breathe. Inhale, extend. Exhale, touch your left tricep. And then with control, step the foot forward, drop your back knee down, sink your hips down, keep the lift into the pelvic floor. And then as you breathe in, extend arms up, look up, try to draw the chin back, open through the front of the throat without collapsing. So you want to feel strong. Beautiful. Allow the hips to sink. Open behind the shoulders, keep lengthening the front. And then look down. Exhale, hands to the floor, flex the foot. And then squaring hips and chest, inhale. Exhale, sink. Beautiful. Strong breath to really allow the oxygen to be distributed throughout the whole body. Beautiful. Two more breath here. And then look forward, inhale, come back forward. We'll do the same to the other side here. So from here, rotate this left foot out so you have an external rotation into the hip. Strong underneath this right hand. You can place the hand a little bit forward of your shoulder and then flex your back foot, place the top of the back foot down. So we'll push underneath this left shoulder, but we'll sink your hips down to feel the lengthening of the side body. And then look over to the back foot. One, two, three. If you want, you can take a mudra. Four, and five. And then look down. Again, press back to down the duck. Readjusting hands. And then we'll hang in there for a few breaths here. So this is really a posture. We'll quite often use it as a transition, but we want to hang in there and feel this pause. It's like one of my favorite pause. I love it. So really feeling the alignment into the feet, slightly pigeon toes the action of the legs. Feel free to bend your knees if you need here. Hands really active. Roll the shoulders away from the ears and then lengthen. Beautiful. And then slowly come high on the toes, drop the knee down and then come to sit into Virasa. So from here, the idea of this posture is that the feet uh, just to the outside of your hips but if you have any knee problems straighten your legs out don't go there or you could take your legs into a butterfly position if you want to go there it's available but not quite here for tightness in the legs and you can elevate as much as you need with pillows or blocks if you have so we'll place the top of the feet down and we'll bring the knees against each other and then from here Tuck the tailbone under, find the lift of the pelvic floor. Keeps the heart space lifted, so the sternum. As you breathe, you want to feel really the expansion of the rib cage. And then keep the shoulders rolled open and down. Draw the chin back. Focus on the ground and breathe here. One. Two. Four 
wonderful. And then to continue opening a little bit into the shoulders and all the forearms and hands here. If you type a lot, this is quite nice. So opening your hands out and then internally rotating your shoulders and then try to press your palms into a prayer position behind your back. So you can work towards it by just having a little fingertips together. If it's not possible, you can have your knuckles or you can grab your elbows. So take a deep breath in, internally rotate your shoulders. Take a bit of time here to sit up. And then open the shoulders back out. Keep pressing the hands against each other. And again, breathe here. One. Two. Palms facing up, hands to shoulders. Take some deep circle with your elbows. One, two, three, four, and five. Wonderful. One more posture to finish up. This was an internal rotation at your hip joint. Now we're going to externally rotate with a little um, Supta Balakodasana. So come down on the mat, feet together. You can support the knees with pillows if you need. Lift the heart space, draw the back of the shoulders down. Inhale, round up. Grab your elbows, tuck the chin in. Close your eyes and breathe. One, full breath. Two, three, four, and five. Now extend the arms up and then switch the cross of the elbows. One, two. Breathe into your belly and all the way into the ribcage. Three, four, and five. Beautiful. Come to Shavasana, extend your legs out. Relax the feet. Palms facing out to the ceiling this time. Really address the back onto the floor here. And just find a natural rhythm of breath into your belly. Make sure the jaws are soft, that the back of the eyes are quiet, and the space between the eyebrows is relaxed. Just observing how you feel. And then eventually just let your mind wander. Stay here as long as you need. I will leave you here. Thanks to have joined me. Namaste.